Composer Gloves here, and this is the 17th video in the Sounds Like. And today we're going to talk about an atmospheric beginning on Electro, Electro Atmospheric Beginnings. And so this is a track I've actually completed, and I dig it a lot. But we're just going to talk about this first little section here and some creative ways to use samples, some creative ways to make samples. Um, but we're going to talk about what's going on down here, this type of a thing, because I think it's pretty cool and a nifty way to use samples like this. Um, so I have a whole bunch of atmospheric samples from a Le Leviathan Black Octopus sounds that I I was trying to come up with you know some creative way to use them because I have a I have a lot of actually things that I did here that were very atmospheric sort of like on the nuance side of things and uh, I spent forever getting my bass just right and all that kind of a thing and uh, yeah I think I came up with some creative ways. This is more of a trance electro track, but I'm gonna just gonna play for you the first few bars and we'll move on from there. So as you see, we have this sort of, now I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Man, talk. I'm gonna have uh, an upload of this later. Right now, the way I've got the recording set up is it's playing this back uh, quite a bit softer than it actually is. So, just so you know, if you're like, "Wow, this is pretty soft" or whatever, trust me, it bangs your car. So, um, I have these atmospheric sounds, sound like that, and they get pretty loud actually. And this guy, and you notice that they're all different pitches. Did my audio just quit on me? This one doesn't want to play. Oh, it's because the volume's all the way down. Okay. And there's that guy. And let's turn our volume up here. And so they're just these things. And most people, I don't know. I, I hear it quite a bit in people who are used to making atmospheric type stuff. And I'm big on sort of that type of a vibe. And you could create sounds like this. Uh, if you have reactor, there's all sorts of noise generators you can use. Uh, Absinthe is like phenomenal for creating morphine pads. And you get like nine or ten. And essentially all I have to do is write out a big chord with a lot of moving parameters. And you make this big old long sample. And so I didn't want to go and do that because I already had a whole bunch and I paid money for them. So I want to use them. So uh, if you go into your Black Octopus Leviathan, if you have that, uh, they're all right here. And I actually have another pack that's got even more that I use later on. Um, but I really like them because what you do is you take the, whoops, don't want that. I want control. So what you do is you take them and you turn the volume on and off slowly and it will create that sort of texture for you. So it's like merging in and out. And you can, they can be used as risers. That's a really nice thing. Things in the background like this can be brought up. And they, they come in like that and it's like, whoa, what just happened? And then you drop your kick in. And you get that really great atmospheric feel. You just have that like boom, boom, boom. Like the people dig that type of a thing. So anyways, this is a, uh, a really an easy trick. Um, I wasn't planning on making any of these samples like right now because I used other samples. But if you ever, if you have atmospheric samples lying around and you're like, what could I ever use this for? You could just as easily take your own samples and get really creative and merge them together. But anyways, that's just a quick tip on making atmospheric backgrounds. I use it again over here, the same thing. I change it up a little bit. And then I have some more right here that also come into play. And this one actually is just like dirt and dust. It's just like sound in the background. And I don't know. It works for this t kind of a song. So like, for example, Furious could be a little loud. Lock it up. Just feel the beat. Lock it up. Just feel the beat. Just feel the beat. So you can hear this in the background here. And there's actually another one that's... Uh, this is a uh, contact. So as you see, it's just putting those things in the background. People don't really notice them, but they're there and they make a big difference. So these are from the other pack I bought. And that's actually for a moment here because they have these moments that sort of 
I need some fillers and so Another thing for atmosphere, as I said, this, this thing's kind of big on atmosphere, as you can hear. I've got this reversed bell. What I did was I went into contact and I took it and I reversed, I just turned the reversal on and I moved the points up on the notes because I knew I only wanted certain notes and I knew all the velocity layers would be right here. And so uh, I just took the end points and turned them up so that it would reverse faster for me. And some of them aren't as fast. So I get that as you heard when I let go all these like, like all these backwards notes um so that creates another really great atmospheric thing to your track a lot of it's just volume automation and just getting wise with that you could use filters that would create just as equally interesting textures uh, i hope i gave you some good tips on how to make atmospheric tracks if you want to know how to do the reverse bell thing i have a whole series on contact and i cover the reversal module in there and what you'd want to go look up is the source module video and you'd want to look up the ones about the wave editor itself i believe the first one talks about start points and end points the first time i did this though contact was acting all sorts it was acting all sorts of like funky and weird on me i was like what the heck's going on because it wasn't doing what it should do and so i had to um, save my project and open it up again. Then it acted like a normal contact. And I was like, good, please, please continue to do that. So yeah, this track will be up soon. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Any uh, other desires that you wish to see uh, about this track or, you know, any other of the tracks I've done and have a blessed day. Oh,